pink and yeah, white you guys, blend these eggs, that you would only put it in. Uh, Wait, her, her are hard. It's very I good for the first time. Okay. So do you see how it's a little thick in the I don't know if it's because of the fake hand or what, because it's not staying on there. So I find myself having to hold it. And then once I get the free edge attached to it, then I can let it go because obviously it's not going to go anywhere. But it just sucks. Like, why is it not staying? But my teacher is able to get it on with no problem. Anyways, you guys can watch me. I haven't been filming it because yesterday I filmed a lot, but I'm going to just show you guys what I've done so far. So this was my first one that I did. This was my first one. Second one is this one and then this is my third one right here so i need to work more on my free edge and like get it perfect but it's coming together y'all let's do the fourth one let's try to get this together because baby so this is the paper so i take the circle paper thing off and they told me to put it behind here i still don't know the reason why if you are a nail tech or cosmetologist and you know why we have to put this back here please let me know and please give me some pointers if I'm doing this wrong. Please, I need help. Your girl need help, SOS. I make it into a circle. We'll have like a C actually, a C shape. Alright you guys, so this is how my nail turned out. I'm trying to it's okay. I mean I feel like I'm getting better. That's the side. That's the other side. So I'll check back in with you guys when I'm done. She said that we're doing this for the rest of our time in class today. And then every Wednesday or Thursday we're going to be doing nails. So I'm not tripping. I'm, I'm getting better. The only thing I'm having trouble with, like I told you guys, is the actual nail form papers. They're not staying on. So I don't know. But we'll figure it out. We're going to continue to practice and we're going to figure this out. <laughs> hey you guys, checking back in. So I ended up leaving class. I don't even know what time I left. I think it was on time. I have to finish my nails. I didn't finish them. I have to give a little, give myself a little break because it's a little overwhelming and I just needed a little break. So I took me a little break. I had me some lunch and then I went and wrote my notes down. So this is what happened, y'all. Let me set y'all down so I can talk to y'all. So this is what happened. I wrote my notes because she gave us like a little notebook. I actually have them right here. So I got this book, right? And you know, it's uh, something that's about to get me through the rest of cosmetology school and also when I take my state board. So I'm taking that very seriously. What had happened was we were taking notes while she was talking. And for me, I'm like, I, I like to write neat, but when I'm rushing writing, like when I'm trying to hurry up and get something down, I don't write neat. So I'm like, let me write it on another piece of paper. And then after we're done with lecture, I'll write it inside the notebook. So I didn't do that yesterday. So then we got some more notes. So it come to find out I had like five pages of 
notes front and back that I already wrote that I had to rewrite again. I'm like, oh my gosh, I do not feel like writing all this, but it's actually due today because we have to turn in our notes like I told you guys. So unfortunately, I had to write everything all over today. So I did that. Now I'm doing my homework online. So once I'm done with that, then I have to finish my nails. These are my nails so far, so I need to foul them. So this one came out really good. I didn't do too good with like the smile line, but you could tell it's a French tip though, it's cute. These are the ones that came out horrible. <laughs> this one is okay, but these ones are not good at all. Then I also did one on here. So I'm kind of getting the hang of how to put this thing on there. It's not perfect, but I feel like if I continue to practice, it'll become good. So this right here is the other nail I did. And then I have my first nail that I attempted to do. It's right here. So they're not bad, but I feel like if I continue to practice, I'll get really good. Pray for your girl, cause I really want to get good. Like I told you guys, I want to specialize in nails. So that becomes a big deal to me because I want to specialize in nails. So I have to foul and buff all those, make them look pretty nice and shiny. I cannot add any coat, so I need it to naturally look shiny, which they don't. Cause I guess this is like a matte finish. So I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm gonna buff it out and send it in. So I have to send in 10 fingernails and I have to write on my time card as well. So I need to do that. And everything is due by 12 a.m. tonight. Right now it's like 3.30 I think. It's like 3.33. Um, and I'm about to be done with my homework. I have five, six, seven nails. So I need three more. And then I need to just foul them and shape them. So that's gonna be easy. And then I'm done. I need to style those two hairstyles that I just did so I can get credit for them. And then I need to start on my perms again because today is already Wednesday. I only have one day. So yeah, it looks like again, I'm gonna be doing perms, two perms for the weekend because like I told you guys, I only have two long head dolls. I actually wanted to perm my wig. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to my little doll head right here. And I'm gonna put some rollers in and I'm gonna turn that in. But I just want to see how this hair will turn out when it's curly. That's about it, y'all. Tomorrow we have a test on chapter 10, which is nails as well. It's um, identifying the different disorders and diseases that we can have on nails. So that's going to be pretty easy. And then we're going to just work on our progress chart all day. Again, I'm just trying to get everything done, turned in. I don't want to be a last minute girl. So that's what i'm doing so you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys are doing right now because i want to know also i want to know like how do you guys take notes and how do you guys study because i haven't been in school since ever so i'm just now figuring out like how to take notes again and i haven't really been studying either like i'll write down my notes and then i won't study them like that so let me know how you guys study like what 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 do you do to study? Cause for me, it's like, I'll just read what I wrote down and that's boring. Like, how do you make it fun? How do you make it interesting? Anyways, you guys, let me get to work so I can be done for the day and relax before my husband gets home. When he gets home, I want to relax with him, watch a movie, cook dinner and call it a night. Let's get to work, shall we? I'm gonna just finish up my homework real fast and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. And I'm better. All right, let me stop playing. I already got my monomer. My brushes are clean. Now I need to freaking try it again. So what we did was we put the masking tape over the actual nail because we don't want it to get stuck and have to soak it in acetone in order to get it off. So we just put the masking tape over it. So I put it there. I fold it under and then I just rip it at the bottom. And then I take my nail wrap, I open it like so, put it behind here so that it looks like that. I open this up and then she said that you just try to form it. <laughs> so I'm trying to make wrap this and please nail techs. If you are a nail tech, let me know if I'm doing this right. I need your help, SOS. I take my nail, where'd you go? Right here. And then I put it on right under the nail, lift it up, and then she just slid her hands up like that. And mine's always seems to fall. I don't get it. It won't stay. 
under the nail. The way she did it was so slick and so smooth. Lift up and slide on to nail. This is the best I could do because if I keep messing with it, it's not gonna stick. I'm such a butterfinger, it's so sad. It's like somebody's going slapping my hair and something else. <laughs> slapping whatever it is in my hand out of my hand. It's so annoying. But this is the best I could do. I'm still learning y'all, so give me a break. So now that we have that, I'm gonna be taking my powder. Have it all ready to go. Got my monomer. I think I do it too far from the actual nail. I'm gonna wipe that one off. I don't wanna do it again. Cause I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it one little bit. And then this thing is sliding again. Come on. Stay on you little bugger. See now it's leaning too much down. I feel like my nails would come out a little better if I didn't have to use these Dargon nail wraps. Nail foils. Whatever the hell these are called. Excuse my language. I'm gonna try using my bigger brush. But this is what I got. But it's super thin. It needs to be a little more thicker than that. All right, you guys. I just did one. You can't really see it that well, but this is how it looks. And then I'm gonna have to still e-file lid and buff it out so it can be perfect. It's getting better, it's getting better, it's getting better. The only thing I don't like is my, the white part. I don't know how to do the smile part. So when I get that, I will be much, much happier. This is my ninth one. I got one more to go. Praise the Lord, because I am over these things. So I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm done fouling them and they're all dry and everything like that. All right, howdy y'all, howdy, howdy, howdy. These are how the nails turned out. They turned out not so bad after I like fouled them down and shaped them. They're not bad at all. Better than the ones that were on the hand, I can tell you that much. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And make sure you turn on your bell notification so you won't miss another video. Because these videos is really coming consistent. You feel me? Like, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Just turn on the little bell notification or whatever. But God bless you guys. I pray that you guys have a blessed day, night, morning, whatever time it is when you guys are watching this. I pray that you guys have a blessed, blessed less day um so yeah see you guys tomorrow peace